Judiciary may treat Tinubu better than INEC did. That's coming from Reno Mockery. Thank you very much for joining us. It's a serious matter on Onit TV. Former presidential aide Reno Mockery has described President elect Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu as a political scholar, which PDP needs to study and learn from. Or Reno shares this on his official uh, Twitter page. You know, he, he, um, he wrote, Tinobu has been preparing for 2023 since 1999. He has, a, as a former Lagos commissioner, as a top shot at INEC. He has judges he appointed as governor that are now in the Court of Appeal. He made Lawan Senate president and installed Bajabia Miller as speaker. One quarter of Buari's ministers are his appointees. He helped the owner of Oando and Alpha Beta, Obates, become dollar billionaires. He has turned many journalists from paupers to multi-millionaires. He is one he is on excellent terms with army generals and has incorporated family members of leaders of our intelligence, you know, agencies into their his patronage network. Hmm. Interesting. Well, with his advanced preparation, the judiciary may even treat him better than Einek did. So Einek really treated him better. Einek really treated him well, you know. Uh, by helping him to win the election, right? Well, Tinobu and God's will are Pabio. Both learned from MK Wabiola very well. What money cannot do, mon may, more money can do. <laughs> Did you get that? What money cannot do, more money can do. But Tinobu went further than Pabio in that, uh, apart from Olusheg Mobasunjo, no other Nigeria politician has perfected the art of emotional suppression and stooping conquer like him. Instead of insulting his intelligence, let us, as PDP, study it and outfox him. We should not be too ashamed to copy his playbook. That is how you become a chess grandmaster. You spend months studying your opponent's play. We must study Tinubu to defeat him like Edogan studied Fitola Gulen and then destroyed his political base. Well, um... It doesn't sound like something like like something good, you know. It's like saying, you know, the way he's doing it. Let's also plan. Let's also study and do it that way too. Let's also. I don't know if you get what what he's trying to say. But then, please feel free to drop your comment. Make them simple and simple. Let us know what your opinions are. You know, um, it, this 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 is coming from good had had uh good had something. He said, notice how Tinobu tried to bribe and buy people over with his heel gotten wealth. This and many more is the reason why Nigeria can never move forward. He said, I mean, who won't want to serve a man feeding you? It's like you are a slave and subject. He said, somebody said, so what's, what's, what this chief is saying is that other politicians should steal more money for bribes so that at the right time they will use it. You know, that's exactly what I was trying to say too. You know, well, somebody said before Tinubu sponsored Buhari's campaign, that was their agreement. That was why Tinubu said, it is my turn to be president. It could even be that they took a blood oath. The immediate past FIRS boss, who is under investigation for corruption, Fowler, was a former LIRS when Tinubu was governor. You understand, you know, um... Do you, do, you, do, you, do you get the whole, do you get the drama? You get the drama. So that's why I will, I'm looking at, you know, um, Reno Mokri's, you know, thoughts sport from a very, very different angle. And I'm saying, well, he's saying, well, we should, we should now learn his evil or wait the bad parts and then, you know, inculcate it into our lives. And of course, you know, it's not the best. Well, this is Serious Marathon on the TV. Please share our videos with others. Drop your comment. Make them simple and simple. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.